What three baits do I think you should be using in the month of November? That's what we're gonna talk about right now. If you don't know, these are one of my favorite videos to do. I enjoy researching and finding out what baits are working in that upper, middle, and down here in the southern part of the country. I thoroughly enjoy it. I enjoy the research, I enjoy reading, fishing reports, and so forth. So I put a lot of effort into these. So if you do enjoy this, please click that subscribe button and become part of the family and part of the team. And click that thumbs up button too. It really does help the channel. So November is a great time to fish. Bass are starting to eat as much as possible because they need to fatten up before it gets really lethargic. I've broken it down the last few months of upper, middle, and lower, or southern, zones. But in the upper, I'm going to be honest, it's going to be a little tough in November. The water is really cold. I think there's a few staples that you need to use if you're up north. I think your square bill crankbait, your shallow water square bill crankbait is a great one. I think really if I was up north in that New York area, I'd be using a spinnerbait. That's the truth. That would be probably pretty much all I'm, I would use. The spinnerbait mimics a shad or a or a bluegill. It throws off a little bit of shine, a little bit of thump that the bass can feel. It's not something that's super aggressive in the water because when November starts and the fish are gonna start getting in that lethargic phase, they wanna eat up, they wanna look up and eat. They don't want something that's getting burned by them. This is when you need to start slowing down the cadence of what you're doing. If you're using something that uh, a topwater bait, a little bit slower pattern, a little bit slower speed. Let it just glide back and forth and pause it. This is also a time when I think you need to downsize your either the line or the size of your baits. Again, they're not really actively going out and a targeting and feeding at fast, aggressive baits. They want something that's gonna get in their face and just open up their mouth and eat it. This is not a time they're chasing down things. So you have to remember that. Be confident in that because confidence plays a huge part of how you're gonna do and how well you're gonna do out there on the water. Bass are gonna be feeding a lot they're really, really feeding right now. Where in the summer, they're probably feeding every other day. Right now, they're probably feeding in that three to four day phase. And But when they start to find something or they, they do find that shad or that bluegill or whatever it is, they're going to attack it. They're pushing most of those fish into backwater creeks and places like that where that shad or that bluegill can go back there and hide in super skinny water. And as the water warms up during the day, they make their way out. And those bass are gonna be sitting there underneath waiting for them to, to just ambush them and eat them upwards. They're not eating downwards. You can catch them on a crawfish, you can, bouncing off the bottom. But you're gonna find that a lot of fish are, are in that upper water column because the water temperature is such a drastic difference. That water starts to get warmer in that upper water column and those bait fish will stick to that thing, to stick to that water. Water column fishing is extremely important as we transition into this fall phase. So like I said, if you're in the north, I think you really need to put a spinner bait on. I normally give you three baits, I'll be honest. I think a spinner bait or a shallow water crankbait or a crankbait is all I would do right now. That's, I know that sounds weird, but that's what I would use. I would use something that's the same size of what they're eating, but those are gonna be primary things that bass will target and eat. So if you're up north, I'm only giving you two this month, spinnerbait and a crankbait. Now the middle of the country, you're gonna start seeing that 60s and 50 degree water. If you're in that 50 or above, a topwater bait is not the worst thing in the world. Something that gets on top that just goes back and forth. I like, now I don't know what people are gonna call this, but I like a little spy, weight, spy bait. Now this is a custom one and I've never thrown it, but what I want Lon to show you was the prop. I want something that's gonna chug the water. I want something that I can throw a good distance and just reel it in fairly slow across everything. Like I said, the bass are gonna be feeding upwards. That will cause the commotion that will attract them. So my first bait, if you're in the middle of the country or you're down south, I call that a spy bait, but a prop bait is gonna be very successful for you. 
And again, remember, a topwater chapo or whatever is still really going to be very successful too. That one just has a, has the prop, which I like. But if you're in that 55, 60 degree weather, break out that top water bait and just let it glide on top of the water. But don't be aggressive. Don't burn it in. Make that cast and just slowly work it back. Let it make that big S motion, that back and forth motion in the water. That will cover more ground this way and it'll also cover more ground as you go this way too. My second bait, if you're in the middle of the country, is going to be a suspending jerk bait. Now, I think you can use this one, or I think if you really want to get fancy, you can use a fluke or the flush from Sixth Sense. Now, in the, the case of what I think you should use is I think you should use a suspending twitch bait. Now, this is really good because you can make that cast make a couple real twists and it just does that and then pause it let it sit this that one is not a deep diving one i think if you're in the middle of the country you can get away with that six to eight foot diving one but as you get lower into the southern states i think you need to have a shallow water run, shallow running water one so use that su that suspending jerk bait make a couple casts reel it a few times and stop it or twitch twitch and pause it let that suspending bait do its work as it suspends or even floats slowly up you're gonna get bites on it now if you're using the fluke you're gonna make a couple twitches and then let it fall downward let that bait make do its work let the bait do the work now there's a lot of people that aren't confident with those baits these are baits you need to be confident in if you don't like using them don't use them, but you need to work on your work on making those confident baits for you. The more confidence you have in those baits, the more fish you're going to catch now. And as it gets a little bit even colder, because honestly, that jerk bait from now until, you know, in some cases, May, or early April, May, that is a bait that should be on one of your rods. That is an amazing bait suspending right now and last but not least i really think that you should have some sort of swim bait small swim bait on your on your rod this is the wild shad but like the largo shad or the uh, the prodigy cast whatever that one is something small that you can make a good cast and just let the tail do the work let that tail thump it's the same size as the shad or the blue get that they're looking for and it's really something you can just work fairly slow you can sometimes in this case the reason why i have that one in is i can make it weedless so i can cast in the thick stuff i have a belly weighted hook that i use for it i don't know what brand it is right off the top of my head but i use one of those make it weedless make the cast and i come through the grass that we have in november down here in the south you're going to see that there's still some grass as you start moving your way up north, the grass is starting to die. But if you can find grass, you need to fish it. It's gonna hold bait, but it's also gonna hold bass. November really is a great time to get out there and go fishing. So get out there, go fish. And unfortunately, some of you guys that are in the north are really seeing some cold weather. But the middle of the country and in the lower states, I think those three baits are pretty much common. But like I said at the beginning, there's some baits that, are, that you can use everywhere right now. That spinner bait is really exceptional and others. So do yourself a favor, get out there and go fishing and I hope you crush them. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.